Now, Fight Fans, this fight scheduled three rounds in our unified amateur lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six foot even, his official weight, 154.6 pounds. His record, one win, no losses, representing Aether MMA in Calgary, Alberta. Please welcome AJ Marquez. His opponent across the cage, this man fighting out of the red corner, standing six foot one inch tall, his official weight, 155.4 pounds. His record, three wins, one loss, representing Kingdom MMA in Edmonton, Alberta. Please welcome, Lane Foxton. Why are all these lightweights so tall? When the cage door closes, your referee in charge is serious Andy Social. It's Edmonton water. Foxton and his opponent Market filled with confidence. Look at that look. Market staring across the cage at Foxton. These guys are going to come out swinging. Well, like in, in the body type of like Market, very, very tall and lean, uh, very fitting of his uh, potentially of his, having a grappling background. But well, let's, uh, let's see what they both bring to the table. As Super happy, Andy Social, figuring things out. I think he was waiting for everybody to get into position there, so he called a like quick time there, showing everybody who's boss. Referees waiting for the commission to give him the cue, and he has gotten it. And we are underway, uh, okay. racing oh, to geez. the center, and look at that. Market getting the takedown immediately. Uh, double over grip from, from Foxton. Foxton, but you know, like he looks like he's looking to work from a closed guard, well, a box guard position, and then switching back and forth. So, uh, looking to set up that triangle. Market looks like he's ready to. Oh, so there's ground and pound in this one. It seems like. While Foxton looking for that triangle. They're looking to set it up. Looking for that. Looking to attack the shoulder and the arm at the same time. Smart job by him. A very bad position for Market. Uh, Foxton Mar looking to cinch in the triangle. He's got lots of room to work yep. here. Yeah. Uh, Market being smart. He's looking for that step over. Uh, lots of space there right now. But if he gets pulled forward, he's going to be tight in that triangle, unfortunately. So it's an interesting position right now, considering we're less than a minute in. Fighters are still dry. No, totally. But if you take a look at, oh, look at the step over attempt. Um, before that, he had the triangle locked lower in the back, but now it's starting to come up as he went for that step over technique. Um, I'd like to see uh, Market kind of like push his head against the cage as we saw in our first match, looking for that triangle. But now he has angle and he's sliding that triangle down. And now uh, Market needs to be fighting those biceps, fighting those hands. and Fox just. Foxen trying to pull the head down, trying to hook the leg. Looking for that collapse right there with the potential for the triangle to be oh, finished soon. And he's out. Excellent stuff Attack. by Market, showcasing his resolve. Look now he's looking for a submission. Anaconda switching to the guillotine. Now he's in that front headlock position, looking for the snap down. Uh, but Foxen having that ability to step over potentially, now he's in that Anaconda. It's a very interesting bout. Market's got a tight hold on that as he's trying to fish that in a little bit deeper. So right there when he went for that last one, he went for that anaconda and looking to trap the far side arm. He's got to be careful with those snap downs because he's sliding off the head. So like when he, it's almost your pulling guard in this sense. As Foxton breaks out and starts unloading on Market. And could he have kind of like jammed down on the pedal way too early? Looking for a takedown again is Market. Huge fatigue searching for these submissions as the lactic acid builds up in your muscles. Well, and like the experience is such a factor from from Foxton to Market, you know? Well, that uh, shot off the bat there too, kind of put a little bit of insight that maybe he's not too comfortable on the feet. Foxton mixing things up well, going low, going to the midsection, going high, trying to get Market, guessing. Oh, hard left kick by Foxton and Market said midsection. And a very interesting first round. As we saw 
Market getting the takedown immediately. However, there was a threat of a submission. The triangle choke attempt by Foxton. As, as well as like the anaconda attempts, the guillotine front headlock position, very strong. But did he kind of like dump all of his energy into those and not get it? Which can be mentally devastating. Just a big ball of jujitsu happened there. <laughs> so. There's a lot going on from two really tall, lanky fighters. I'm interested to see how they come out in the second round. If, if you know, uh, Mark getting his second fight, we'll see how he comes out. He looked like he was kind of uncomfortable near the end of the round in the stand up. And Fox is going to be like, okay, let's keep this standing and, and look to keep the strikes coming like he was. And again, such a great thing to see at Unified MMA. Just the quality of these amateur fights is, it seem to be, you know, we get some bangers coming through here, and this is no exception either. Like, uh, great to see such talent at such a lower level on such a high quality show. You see the look on Fox's face. He's been here before. Nothing new. And I would imagine he will rely on that experience going into the second stanza. I also have a feeling he is a decent amount heavier than than, than Market. You it take looks a, it. at the size, but you also take a look at the subcutaneous water starting to spill over from the ab section. Foxton showing that like he's put on that weight. Market looking to come out, take that center. I think Foxton's ready this time. You see him flashing the kicks. It's like, go ahead, go for the takedown. I'm ready for you. A knee right up the middle as a left hand scores. Market throwing, but not as much precision as as we probably had in the first round. Our again kicks. with the stance switch up again. Fox, as you know, as he switches the orthodoxy, he's landing those outside rear leg kicks. Nice mobility displayed by Foxton. A lot of spinning going on. Now back to Southpaw. A diverse attack by Foxton. Backing his opponent up against the cage. Tying up. So and this is where that size difference will really make a difference when they're holding each other against the cage. Foxton breaking out and looking at him like he's having success at range, so why change that up? Ryan Rother, Mitch Clark, John Ramdeen, your broadcast team, here for Unified MMA 46. Market needs to start uh, checking those kicks. Those are, see, right there. Even though he's lifting the leg, that doesn't mean anything unless you have the shin as Market looks for the well, takedown to the back. If you're eating that leg kick on that tendon, your leg's gonna stop working in the later rounds for sure. Well, even like, take a look at that shot. That could be cardio, but at the same time, you don't have that spring. A little bit of a shake going on there too, and that definitely is gonna eliminate some of the strength you have to get those takedowns and secure those positions. Well, Market has a huge opportunity. So from in here, if you notice that he's, he's hooking inward with the one hook, he needs to go far side if he wants to drop back there, like, like he's doing right now. We, we see that with like Henzo Gracie when he fought Yuki Kondo, where he was able to pull him his opponent into him. See right here, it's more control. If you pull in, you're likely to fall down and basically be pulling half guard, which Market might not have an issue with, but right now he's exposing a lot of his arm, his neck, and not putting himself in a good position. The other thing he has to be careful of, besides his opponent grabbing the cage, is he's expending a lot of those energy dollars. Dropping down for that double might be a better choice, but he needs to get in deeper and suck those hips out. His hands are clasped. Will he be able to secure this takedown? Mark has definitely cho chosen his route here that's trying to secure that takedown. I don't think he feels he could stand and bang there with Foxton. Just over 30 seconds remaining in round two. Time is definitely not on the side of Market. Okay, so Market is just pulling, just pulling, and, and Foxen is doing that. He's keeping a good job of just keeping from being pulled forward. You need to be constantly, there we go, rocking that boat. Push him forward, pull him back. If he's able to be stable, he's not gonna go down. And as we saw there, when he pushed him forward and pulled him back, he's able to get the back, looking good here, climbing up. But will it be enough to secure the round for Market? In my opinion, no. I think that uh, Foxen popping up like that sends the message to the judges. That's the trouble with amateur rounds. You only got three minutes, so you gotta work. And he ate a lot of kicks and punches before he got that takedown. You know, a little bit slower at the end of the round there, but definitely a well-executed plan by Market. Kind of tying him up against the cage, trying not to waste too much energy as he eased into it, 
unfortunately, he didn't leave himself much time to finish that position. And you would expect going into this third round, because of the success that he had in that at the end of that second round, go with it. Try to get yourself to the back and try to make something happen. Because I think we both we all agree that uh, this is Foxton's fight to lose. First round was controlled with the submission and the strikes. Second round strikes. We got to see, I, in my opinion, Foxton's up 2-0. And uh, Mark has got to do something different and, and like get on it sooner, I guess. Mark, it's definitely breathing a little bit heavier. That, that could mean nothing, though, like coming into the third round here. So, Well, yeah, that experience, you know, you, I, I don't know where his first, his last fight was. But, you know, going to that third round, if you've never done that before, it's a big deal. And that's valuable information. That's, you know, I know everybody wants to get in there and try to end the fights as fast as they can, but sometimes you need to be in there for the duration to be able to process that information because you're not going to be able to always get your opponent out of there in 15 seconds. Yeah, nope. I, think, I think that's the most important part about the amateurs is being able to implement that game plan, and that's when you know you can evolve to the next level. The touch of gloves, third and final round underway. He's got to finish this takedown. And he's going up the waist, which, you know, it's really hard to get the finish there at the waist. The hips are right there as defense. When we're defending, it's always hips, hands, head. And when you go up the hips, you're, you're directly dealing with hands and the hips. Look awesome stuff trip. by Market, but Foxton trying to find his way on top. A little bit of a sweepy poo there as Market struggling to get on. And where are you pointing out there, a little cage grab? Hey, you know, it's right there. You got to grab it, I guess. Um, you know, he's got to be able to switch the back. Uh, Foxton doing a good job of, of overhooking here, protecting his back and possibly setting up. Uh, oh, rolling knee bar. Not legal here, though. Uh, Mark is doing a good job coming up on top of that half butterfly position. Let's see if he doesn't get triangled here like he did in the first but round. For Market, he can't wait. Nope. He's got to go. He's got advanced position right now and try to make something happen if he wants to leave this cage victorious. Oh, yeah. So when those hands go double up, we watched Kawajiri in strike force when he's fighting uh, Gil Melendez. As soon as he put his hands down, that's when the strikes start happening. He needs to, like, and Market needs to take that opportunity to really start to uh, take out those opportunities and, and take advantage of them. Let's talk about Foxton's game plan here too. He's able to scoot over to that cage, get his back again and get up. Well, when you know that your opponent is tired, making him take you down repeatedly isn't necessarily a bad idea. And when you're bigger, you can just turn in. And, and not only that, it Triangle. seems Market's trying to make this a jiu-jitsu match. And no he's doing strikes. a good job right now. Look at that triangle, kind of similar to the first round, right? Yeah, he's trying to cut cut that angle. He's got the angle. He's got that leg trapped. Trying to get he's the good. arm across. Don't go for Foxton armor. could be in trouble hug here. that head. He's got to hug that head. There we There's go. There's the tap! Wow! And, and that is the goal! I, if I'm Foxton, I am upset. At yourself. Just oh, look, yeah. at the, look at the execution. Well, I'd probably be mad at everything. But you see here, <laughs> Foxen doing a good job scrambling, getting on top, not giving up the back. And he turns in too hard. And uh, Market opening those long limbs he has and locking down that triangle, unfortunately. As uh, we look here back, we go, the replay. How, that's it, how it happened. Right here. It looks like he's got eight limbs here. Market's all over the place. And right here, transitioning the, to the triangle, grabbing the shin, preventing the strong posture up, yeah. cutting that angle, grabbing that leg with those long arms, knowing that he has to get underneath here to cut the angle, because that was what was missing the first round. Yeah. Hugging the head, abandoning the arm. The arm seems so good, like it's so available, but you have to keep it strong, like pinching oh. the knees together, finishing the choke and hugging the head. And he was holding on for dear life. That was an excellent, Triangle and choke. just imagine how valuable this is. Market down two rounds, didn't give up, and then managed to secure the victory in round number three as we set it up to Don Andrews. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, referee Andy Social. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen referee, referee Andy Social stops this for about two minutes, minutes, one second in the third round after Lee Foxton taps out due to a triangle choke. Your winner, AJ Marquez!
again, back to the, these guys executing their plan. Like, 